Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. God has added another new feature which is Gorg Studio. As you see, this is the official post. Today we are releasing the first version of Gorg Studio, adding code execution and Google Drive support. Gorg can now generate documents, code, reports, and browse games. Gorg Studio will open your content in a separate window, allowing both you and Gorg to collaborate on the content together. So it is basically the same as the OpenAI Canvas. So if I go to the ChatGPT here, you will find this Canvas option. Now if you turn on this Canvas and if you ask it that write an essay on artificial intelligence or write a blog post or if you ask it to implement a website, in that case on the right hand side here, you will find this kind of Canvas. Okay. And also if you go to this Cloud.ai, they are if you ask it to implement any website in that case on the right hand side you will find some kind of artifacts where it will show you the code and the preview option also so core studio is basically the same thing like this cloud or this chat gpt now this is the official website here you see that uh, it has introduced another new feature which is connect google drive and if you click on it you can connect the Google Drive of the same email and you can ask any cross question regarding your Google Drive. Okay, like what are the files are there, which folders, uh, inside which folders you have that this file, you can ask this type of questions to this gog.com. Okay, and another interesting thing is that here you will find two kind of uh, deep research. Here you see that one is deep search, another one is deep deeper search okay so deep search is basically advanced search and reasoning but deeper search is more advanced search extended search and more reasoning right now i will show you that how this gorg studio will work so for that i will ask it one prompt and the prompt is that i want to make a website here you see that build a delivery service website showing driver location and estimated arrival times design a ui for scheduling a package pickup now if i press enter here you will find that it will implement that and on the right hand side it will open one canvas and here you will find two options one is this code another one is this preview and also on the left hand side you can uh, select this think option to get a uh, more creative ideas or more creative website and also you can turn on this deep research or deeper research and in that case it will take some time so now here you see that this is the output that i have got this is the delivery service here you see driver location what was in my prompt i asked it to implement a delivery service website showing driver location so here you see that it has implemented this driver location and this map is actually working here you see and um, this is actually good and currently it is pointing to new york and here you see that what i asked for that uh, design a ui for scheduling a package pickup here you see that here you can put name and you can uh, give the pickup address and this package type prefer pickup time and click on the schedule pickup and on the right hand side you will find these active drivers okay so this is kind of cool ui and this is actually functional if you connect it with the backend then it will work fine i gave the same prompt again to this Korg studio and i got this kind of output second time and you see that track a delivery schedule a pickup there is two option is there so you can enter the tracking number here and click on this track and after that here you see that there is a step by step procedure like um, this pickup address package details and this pickup time and also this con contact info review and confirm and after that there is a proceed to payment option and they have also added some kind of neon light to make it cool and modern so in this way you can generate defined kind of version of the same prompt or the same website okay now i will try it for the python codes because they have also written that you can now execute the code in this so for this for that what i'll do 
I will open another new window and I will ask it that give me Python code to plot the stock price of Tesla for the last one year. Now if I press enter here you will see that it will give me the Python code and now on the right hand side you can see the preview. So now if I click on this preview here you see that it is now running and here you see that I got the chart. Tesla stock price for the last one year and this is the and this is the real time graph here you see that this is 2025 and uh, this is April May and this um, 2024 December October okay so actually one year last one year data it is showing me so isn't it cool Yes, it is very much cool. Here you see that you can get the code also from this code option. The whole source code is available. Now I will test another thing which is if you are interested to write an essay. So if I write it that write an essay on artificial intelligence. Here you see that in that case also it will open this canvas type of things. And here also you will find many options like normal text uh, this bold italic underline and so also this bulleted list and this number list all of these things you will find so in that case what what I have to do just select the text suppose i am selecting this text and after that click on this italic and it will be italic and now if i click on the underline here you see that it got underlined and uh, in this way you can change and on the right hand side here you see that download to file you can download these things also by the way uh, you can download the code also in the same way so if i click on the history and now if i go to my design that website design and if i open this index.html here you see that you will find this download codes So I hope this video is helpful for you guys also and if you found helpful if you want to get this type of videos more daily don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to watch the other videos also that I have published by the way yesterday I published a video on this GPT 4.1 it is completely free now with VS code and 7 days free with the Windsor so if you have not watched this video till now please watch this to get the advantage of this free version of GPT 4.1 because there is some limitation after seven days you will not get for free in windsurf right see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel